Today I thought we would unbox and take a quick look at the Zenfone 2. When you look at the side of the box you see some information about it. It says it has a big battery, does 4G LTE, has a full HD display and Bluetooth 4. When you open the box itself, there you have the Zenfone 2. On the front of it, it's got another little bit of information about what you'd expect with it, but we'll put it off to the side for now. Inside, you'll find the warranty card, the user guide, just lots and lots of product documentation. And then once we put that off to the side, you'll see the rest of the packaging. We have the included wall wart, which does 5 volts at 2 amps or 9 volts at 2 amps. So it has lots and lots of power. It can charge very quickly. You've also got the micro USB charging cable. And finally, back to the phone itself, let's go ahead and take the plastic wrapping off the back and we'll take that and we'll put it off to the side. And now let's take just a quick look around the device. As you look at the back of the device, you can see the plastic removable back. On mine, it is gray. We'll look at the top, you see the power button and the three and a half millimeter headphone jack along with that noise canceling microphone. On the back, you have the dual LED flash, the 13 megapixel camera and the volume rocker. And then as you move down the device, you're gonna see the Asus branding and then eventually that very large speaker grill and Intel branding. Unfortunately, that speaker grill does not cover an entire speaker. It's just a small amount on the side. Moving to the bottom though, you see the micro USB charging port, data port, as well as the other microphone. Now the really nice thing about having those buttons on the back means the sides of the device can be nice and clean. There's no buttons, there's no interruptions, very nice and smooth. And if we go ahead and take the back off the device, which was kind of a chore there, you can see the dual SIM slots as well as the micro SD card slot. Unfortunately, one of the SIM slots says it's 2G only, but the main SIM card slot does support 4G, so that's good. On the front of the device, you've got that 5.5 inch 1080p display. Additionally, you've got that five megapixel front facing camera. And then as you move down the front of the device, you'll find the buttons for back, home, and switching apps. I know a lot of companies at this point have moved to software buttons. Occasionally, it is still nice to see those hardware buttons though. Anyway, let's go ahead and power up the device for the first time. There you'll see the Asus branding along with the powered by Android. I'm going to go ahead and let this run just so you can see exactly how long it takes to boot up the first time. And there we have the little Asus boot animation in search of incredible as well as the Intel branding because as you remember this does have the Intel Atom quad core processor inside of it. And there we go. We're now booted up. We're ready to go through the initial setup wizard. You can see it immediately tries to set up a network connection. It asks you to set up your Wi-Fi credentials. It wants to do a tap and go, just like the traditional lollipop thing. Has you put in your account information and after a little bit of loading time, it asks you if you want to restore from a backup. I'm not going to do that. I want to do it all fresh. Asks if you want to set up an Asus account. I'm not interested in that. Setting up other accounts on the device, setting the date and time. And it even offers to give you 100 gigabytes of free storage through Google Drive, which is very nice. There's just a couple more pieces of the initial setup process trying to get you to do data transfers and everything, but then you're greeted by the home screen. Now, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this. I'm actually gonna be doing a full review over on XDA. I'll have a link to where you can find that review down in the video description. If you'd like to see anything more about this device, comparisons with other phones, camera quality comparisons, things like that, let me know down in the comments as well. But that's gonna be all from me for today. Remember to hit the like button below the video if you like this video. Subscribe to receive more videos when they become available, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.